What is poppin guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 70 tutorial. Now in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this amazing infinite loop transition for example like between characters because right now in quarantine we can go outside and film awesome stuff so I have a lot of topics as well but I have to just wait for the quarantine to end so we can actually go outside but in the meantime I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this amazing loop. Yo dude, can you, can, can you, hold on one second. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean with an infinite loop, so check this out. It's not actually that difficult guys, you can just make sure you do everything in one take with your lighting on automatic. If you're going to do this like, like in multiple takes, the lighting can be different, so that's actually very, very important. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's get this video started right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro and I'm gonna actually show you one example because this one I'm gonna show you right now is actually used like two to three times during the entire video so there's no point of actually showing it you four times when it's done exactly the same. So this is basically the method you want to apply on all the effects. I'm still in the frame. So we're gonna start off by, as you can see I also chopped it up a little bit to make things quite easier. So then we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna put the second one where we're gonna come in with the door right here here we're gonna put that one on top so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna align it a little bit because we still want to be in the frame right here and also coming in in the door right here so then we're gonna first start off by going to the event pan crop of the first track click on mask and we're gonna only select this region because the other one is going to be filled in as you can see with the door okay so now that we crop that out we're gonna to go to the clip on top and we're gonna to also click on event pan crop and we're gonna do the same but we're gonna pick the opposite side as you can see so now if you have cloned in the past we will also come across this line as you can see so to make things a little less visible i'm gonna align it with this line of the wall so then what we need to do is just drag this a little bit more to the right so it's a little less noticeable but at the top you can still see this line and at the bottom on the floor that one so we're gonna get rid of that by clicking the feather and we're gonna put that one to both and then we're gonna pick this marker right here and we're gonna drag this a little bit to the right until the lines disappear just like that so if I now play back this video this is basically what it looks like I'm walking out of the screen, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to trim the top one where I'm going to come into the screen. We're going to trim that until the door handle goes down like that. Okay, so let's play it back right now. As you can see right now, I'm coming into the screen right there. I'm also still on the right and I'm also coming in. So I'm going to make this one just a little quicker like that. So it looks like we're actually in the screen twice, but we just masked it along. But then it cuts to black. So then we're gonna stretch this footage quite a bit, like that. So let's play it back. So then we land on the next thing, which is basically us walking across the part that we masked right here. So then what we need to do is we're gonna stretch this clip all the way to the right. And then we just basically need to cut right at the point where we're crossing that black line, which is right here. Then we're gonna cut them both. We're gonna delete that one. And then we're gonna go back to the event pan crop and we're gonna reset our mask. So it basically will transition into half a clip into the full clip right here, as you can see. So then you can also see when we cut actually on the right, it is getting a little bit brighter, as you can see if I play that back. And that's not because my lighting was set to automatic, but that was just because the sun was shining a little brighter than this shot. So in order to compensate that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the video effects tab. We're gonna go to brightness and contrast and we're gonna drag the brightness on top of the top clip. So then we just need to move up every single frame 
And then we need to just make the one a little bit brighter like that until it is just a little less noticeable. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of a difference if I go back frame by frame, and that's because you need to actually match the settings. So that is basically how you can create this effect where you can place yourselves multiple times into the screen. And that's basically the process you want to repeat. So as you can see right now, I'm still talking right here. So I'm getting out of the frame. And then you also want to make sure to mask off this part of the video so the door of the next clip will be visible and you will be coming in while you're still on the screen on the right and it is not that difficult at all all right so let's do that one more time as you can see we're gonna mask only this part of the video and now the difference is actually pretty much a lot higher since the sun is shining a little brighter on the left shot. So like I've mentioned, to compensate that, just add in a little bit more brightness and contrast. And you can also just get rid of that line right there. So if I play this back, as you can see, I'm still in the frame. So I'm going out of the frame right here. And then also at the same time, the door is opening, as you can see. And that is basically how you do it. It's really not that complicated at all. So then I'm just walking back, as you can see, but I'm walking into this fade. And that's because we actually actually masked off this part of the video. But that's basically how you can also clone yourself and have yourself in the screen multiple times. Like I've mentioned, it's just a matter of compensating the lights with maybe like also saturation, white balance. You can just mess with the settings. It is actually pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, guys, so that is how simple it is. You just have to do everything in one take and make sure that you cut on the right part, mask on the right part, and then everything will look the same and it will look like you have multiple characters into, or multiple clones rather, into one shot. But if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and i'll see you guys obviously in a brand new vegas tutorial very soon are you a content creator looking for music to bring your videos to a whole new level soundscape is the resource for music from all different genres such as country electronic folk hip-hop jazz blues rock and much more on top of that you can directly drag the mp3 downloads into your project no matter which editing software you use you guys can even get 25 percent off using the code halford through the link down below